Welcome back, everyone. You are enjoying another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you by Tale of Two Hygienists in partnership with Elevate Oral Care. And now, please welcome your host, Tom Viola. Hi, I'm Tom Viola, a certified pharmacist, dental educator, and author. Stick with me, and I promise to make the next few minutes the best pharmacology learning experience you've ever had. Hi, everybody. Tom Viola with Pharmacology Declassified with yet another Fast Facts Pharmacology edition. Well, we're continuing in our discussion of opioids. We talked last time about how opioids uh, can lead to dependency and ultimately perhaps a respiratory depression. But I wanted to talk a little bit more about the side effects of opioids because we know that they can be valuable tools in the management of donogenic pain, but they can also cause adverse reactions which can be significant. What type of adverse reactions? Well, opioids are known for their ability to cause constipation. I mean, they call it opioid-induced constipation, folks. OIC, as in OIC, I can't go. So we are well aware of those effects. Uh, nausea and vomiting. Many people will tell you they experience nausea and vomiting from opioids because of direct stimulation of the chemoreceptor trigger zone in the brain. What else? Hypersensitivity reactions, like dermatologic reactions, rash and itch from opioids. So these side effects of opioids can be disconcerting and may lead to patients saying, I don't want an opioid. I don't care how big, bad you think I need it. I don't want an opioid. I get that. But what really concerns us in dentistry is the fact that many practitioners believe that by prescribing opioids, we're increasing the, the chance of addiction and we're increasing the, the risk of uh, opioid-induced respiratory depression and death. The converse of that argument is many practitioners know, well, I'm only going to prescribe a couple days worth, three days worth, really, mostly, of opioids. So is three days worth of opioid enough to cause respiratory depression? You could make the argument that if the patient took them all at once, perhaps, especially if they were opioid naive, but really it's not the uh, number of uh, opioids that the uh, practitioner prescribes here as much as it is the alcohol, cannabis, gabapentin, recreational benzodiazepines and recreational opioids and other substances the patient uses on a recreational basis. All of that combined with the opioid prescribed by the dental practitioner could indeed increase the risk of additive uh, respiratory depression and additive central nervous system depression. So it's not the three days worth of opioid you prescribe so much as it is all the other drugs that a patient may be taking along with it that increase that risk. And not to mention prescribed drugs that when taken together with opioids can increase that risk of respiratory depression. And all that means one thing, my friends. If you're going to prescribe an opioid, you need to know your patient. You need to know them very well. You need to know their habits. You need to know uh, their behaviors. And most importantly, you need to know what other medications the patient's taking concomitantly so that you can uh, account for the potential for additive adverse effects like central nervous system depression and respiratory depression. But that, my friends, is for yet another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology. So until then, my friends, I often say this and I'll say it again to you tonight. Have a good day every day and be well. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to hear more from me, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or visit my website at www.tomviola.com. Thank you for listening to another episode of Fast Facts Pharmacology Edition, brought to you in part by Elevate Oral Care, creators of the innovative and proven prevention-focused oral care products from Advantage Arrest Silver Diamine Fluoride to Floramax Sodium Fluoride Varnish. Learn more by visiting www.elevateoralcare.com and schedule your free CE staff meeting today. We'll see you next time for another Fast Facts.